All right, guys, here we are on uh, Booger Town Road. Got a call, insurance call come in for a, wow, that's why they're off the road. <laughs> uh, a car off the road here said somebody ran them off. Narrow road, usually somebody has to give. And, and of course, no shoulder. Um, looks like we're just 1,000 feet turn left. Couple minutes out. I think they said it was a Kia. I'm not sure. I don't think it's that one. It's turn left. It's like a gravel road, then. Yeah, and it shows you go way, way up, and then they're off the map. So that'll be fun. Probably should have called them because I wonder if uh, I wonder if they're not on book because she said they were on Booker Town Road. She didn't say anything about being on a. Hello. Hey, this is Jeff. Everything Auto. We got dispatch to do a winch out for you. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just on the uh, Old Birds Creek side of uh, Lower Powder Mill here. Uh, the passenger side of the car got uh, bottomed out onto the embankment of the uh, creek here when I was trying to uh, get past somebody here. Okay, so you're on Lower Powder Mill? Yeah, yep. Okay. All righty, brother. We should be with you here in just a little bit. We'll arrive at your destination. All right, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah, they weren't down that. <laughs> Geico said that they were at, a, at an address. They gave me an address. I should always call before we yeah, hop in the truck to head out. Geico's usually pretty good, though, about addresses. Some of the others, they'll just throw something out there and you wander aimlessly if you don't call them. We do. We run into this a lot, though. They'll give you an address, and it has nothing to do with the location. At least we're in the right general area. Lower Powder Mill. I, we've got one just not too long ago off of uh, the same road. Yeah, this guy's on our bachelor party. Yeah, yeah, the bachelor party guys. Yeah. Shout out to the bachelor party guys <laughs> if you're still watching. We're uh to go help out some more folks like you. So here we are, uh, Lower Powder Mill. Um, this is why it's so dangerous. This is not big enough for two vehicles. So in most cases, somebody's got to back up. Or, but uh, if you guys, if you guys are in the area, and uh, you GPS says to take Lower Powder Mill, unless you're Unless your rental cabin is actually physically on Lower Powder Mill, do not, because all roads lead to Gatlinburg. See here, we're in that situation. All roads lead to Gatlinburg, so don't... Uh, just pass it. Just pass it. Keep going, because you'll still get there. This road is not worth traversing. And if we don't meet any more cars, we might uh, make it to the disabled vehicle. And it seemed like it was a local that was stuck, so. Yeah, I'm sure. Local. It's usually the other way around. The locals are usually flying on this road and knock the tourist off. I don't know. I can't say always, but. Travel it at night. So at, at least you can see the headlights coming and you know what you're up to. Travel this road during the day, you have no idea what's coming at you. Just don't, just avoid it. 
yeah, you can continue down Bird's Creek, and that'll take you into Gatlinburg or, uh, or Boogertown. Boogertown, yeah, just stay on Boogertown, and it'll go right into Glades. Uh, a lot of the GPS will try to divert you onto this road, and it's like a goat trail at best. Cannot believe she made that. I thought she was going in. <laughs> There's her marks. Did you hear her screaming? Oh yeah. Poor lady. Sure. They they are tourists. The one that was flying was a local. Everybody else has been tourists. Because GPS says to go this way. Yeah, I thought she was going in the creek. I did too. Like, nope. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're on your own.
they chinned up. Because he's on the frame on both ends. And it's just straight off. With nothing good to look to, some flimsy sheet metal.
up here if I can work with it. Yeah. That thing was just slammed in the table. Not yet, though. Nothing but reverse. Yeah. 
I don't I don't think you should turn it all. Not there, whoa. As I'm as I'm letting out on this, I want you to go reverse, okay? He might want to use two feet. He's not in Okay, slowly come back. It's coming. Keep coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's on. Almost all the way on. He's on. Good deal. What a mess. Did a number on the side of the road there, didn't it? It did a number on a lot of things. That's, I mean, that's straight down. Yes, it is. Got him out. Hey, let's say hi. Hey guys, y'all are awesome. What's your name? It's Gabriel. Gabriel. Thank well, you guys for so much for saving my rear end. You're welcome. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. You'll be all right. Just don't get over for people. Just slow down and <laughs> let them get over. Right? <laughs> yeah. It only goes in drive. I don't have reverse gear. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. We're glad you're all right. Well, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. What have you done? Got over too close, too far over here, man. <laughs> yeah. 
it's, it's really sitting on that frame. That's what it is. Just it can't get no traction because yeah. it's down on that frame. Because I tried to put the board, but it ain't, it ain't doing nothing now. That that whole front tire cocked up. Oh man, it's on that. It's fence. ugly. Mm. That fence is close, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's close, but it ain't touching it. But you know, mm. yeah, that tire's up in the air. Yeah, that one. That, the front tire is up. My goodness. Man, look, I've been begging out of this joke every night. <laughs> you look, look are. Today. <laughs> it got you today. It got me, man. Look, it, it, Wait, what it, is it? It said, you know what it said? Okay, you keep playing with me. That's at least a foot. She's in the air. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it didn't give you one more. No, it didn't give me no one. Man, you have no room for error over here, buddy. I learned it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's no room for error. It's all or nothing in it. And look, board. and look, and I'm a truck guy. Man, these roads, I don't, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. Look, look, it's, get your ego out of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Look, trust me, I'm so down in my ego now. <laughs> like, back, yeah, I, look, yeah. the ego was up here. <laughs> bro, it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's under this bottle, man. <laughs> well, you can put that road. bottle under the tire, I know that. It's <laughs> 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 a Woo! Oh, don't feel bad because it happens all the time. But I can still hurt. Yeah. You know, yeah. Trying to take the family away and you know, do this stuff. But hey, hey, I'm glad to see y'all. That, that point blank, I'm happy to see y'all. I wonder how strong that is. It's right there. I was going to try to jack it. But even in that, I don't even, that, I can't even find a jack in this thing. So I thought maybe jacking it up, but me jacking it up, it wasn't going to do no good because there's nowhere I can go. I thought at least I could fit that board up under there. Mm -hmm. At least kind of give me a little bit of traction. Yeah. It's being cocked out like that. I mean, it's going like can I even pull him back forward? I can't even do no, that. There's can one I? giant tree up there on the other side of the porch. <laughs> so we need something like that. Yeah. To kind of balance it out. Way up there. Jeez. Right next to the gas. If that would be my. You think he'd stay off that fence if I pulled him back forward? Like, like go back that way? Yeah, if I pulled you straight back oh, yeah, forward. Should. Yeah, they shouldn't even go. I mean, because you, got, you backed into you it, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it, it ain't gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't like that body, you know. It's a little hairy. Yeah. <laughs> a little hairy. But look, man. If I pick the back end up, then we're back in that same situation. Well, if I pick the back end up to move it over here, it's going to want to roll down the hill. Well, you know what? If you can get it picked up and put back over here, I'm fine. Because, I mean, I just need to stay on this side. Yeah. I'm good. It was going in and out. It's just what happened. I was backing down and it, it got right here and it started slipping. Gotcha. I look, let me tell you the funny thing. I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> I was being honest. And so when I went over, I didn't realize how how close I was over there. Yeah. That's that's what happened, man. I mean, let's take the ego out of it. That's what happened. Let's um Yeah, that's my only thing. If I if I pick that if I pick the back end up, uh -huh. it's gonna wanna it's gonna go downhill because those are the drive tires are back there. So that's gonna be our better option is yeah. to try to pull it back forward. It's gonna take me. To go that way. It's gonna take me a little bit to get some stuff rigged up because we're gonna to have to get some some straps and stuff rigged to that far far tree way up there, and then I'll just run a snatch block, uh -huh. and we'll put a snatch block and we'll run redivert that cable back down here to you, and then it'll ultimately will pull you back up the hill. Would that be a little cheaper to do it that way, the back end? The back end part of it, I'm. It's just it would you be just too. Kind of feel nervous about doing it. It would be way. too dangerous, okay, really. Yeah. Well, well, let's do. Because we don't, we don't want to tear up your. But we want to do it the, the way we're not going to tear up your van. No, do, so, do it the way you need to do it. That's. And that's the safe way. And and it's generally that's the way it is. They didn't really need to come out the way they went in, and right. it kind of applies to this too. That yeah, I mean it's super steep. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy. I'm glad that they got this fence here because a lot of these places don't even do this and then we've got people that are down off of this. Are you serious? Well, I don't think that fence is going to stop that van, but I get it. Yeah, it helps a little. At, at, least, at least mentally it helps. Yeah, it helps a little. All right, well, I'm going to hey, get man, to... Do, do what you feel like you, get, you know what you know. I'm going to get some uh, I'm gonna get some straps and stuff set up up here. And um, uh, yeah, 
I might be able to get. It's, it's really on that, like you know. It's... See that? Yeah, it stopped it. <laughs> he, so? he said anchor down. Yeah, it, it, it literally sit, it kind of set me down. All right, guys. I think we're gonna try this tree up here next to this propane tank. That should give us some good anchor point. Get this old van coming back forward. Look, I mean, I'm gonna go around the pavement instead of sliding down the hill again. Man, it's so steep. You see where people come around this burn rubber. Yeah. Okay. 
It's the back tire still on that board. We're just about there though. Want back to drive? Not yet. Okay, back to drive. No, just let off the brake. At some point, you'll probably have to steer away from this cable. Yeah. It's gonna start pulling up. Right now? I would, yeah, I would, yeah. Okay. Go, go slightly over that way now. Straight, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Oh, My God, I don't know that I'll ever make it. I'm just barely on it. Please tell me I got a little bit more. What do you think? It's up just a little bit. I don't know if, I, what, if it's getting into the fender or not. Um, let me, let me go look again. This tires. Uh, I don't know if it'll pull forward or not. Let's try. Let's, let's try. Let's see if it'll pull forward. Yes, that's or that same direction. By golly, I think you got it. Perfect. Okay, stop right there. Yeah, we've got it. We'll make it from there. Awesome. All right, we'll get some stuff unhooked and. Uh, no, I still got you hooked. You're you're plenty on there now, so you can let off. I say plenty on there. I tell her plenty on there, but she got a quarter of a tire. Yeah, maybe half a tire. Anyway, what a crazy driveway, guys. We'll uh, get some stuff unhooked here and we can get him to the top. guys we're here at uh oak haven we're in boyd's creek we don't uh we don't get a lot of calls for this area but we do got a guy here says he was heading up to his cabin cabin 41 um and the ball joint fell out of his truck so those are always fun let's see if we can get up here and... it's so steep it's crazy steep up here find him or how far up he made it but we found him oh man I didn't think we was ever gonna find you it's like uh I don't know what we're gonna how we're gonna get this out uh, yeah that's gonna be a bad deal 
ball joint popped out over here. I don't know what happened to it actually. I turned it in. Oh. Yeah, the whole ball joint come out, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> I don't know how to what to do. Where where are you trying to get it to? Who knows? Where do I, where would I take it for two from here? Um I mean there's a lot of shops in the area, but uh Tomorrow that's Sunday. Tomorrow's Sunday, so there ain't gonna be anything open until Monday and yeah. I would uh It's new? I would say the dealer. He's probably the closest to the dealership. Yeah. It's I mean I just I just it's it's uh two thousand nineteen. I mean I just bought it about two weeks ago. Actually it's used, but I mean it's yeah. I got bumper to bumper warranty on and everything. That's gonna be the best place for it. Dealer. Yeah, that way because the, the trans the, the warranties will be transferable to the dealer, so that, that's where I would take it. Okay. Um it's gonna be some hooking up, but we get you over there. We get some, uh, I'll get some dollies. We'll put some dollies up under the front and get it strapped up good and uh, and just lift it from the back here. And Probably get it turned Yeah, down. we'll get it down. Uh, I, hopefully I can down this, because uh, I'm going to need to go back that way. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah, bear with me here a little bit. We'll, uh, All right. we'll get it hooked up. And... Okay. Dude, uh, you, you couldn't have got in here with a rollback. I mean, it's... Uh, straight up there straight down hopefully we can make this corner with the ball joint come out and there was no oh, that's why I like this truck we can pick it up and put it on dollies we did get the truck on dollies we just got to see if we can make this corner and get out of here and uh, I'll stand right here you you're gonna make down? that happen okay You can turn harder right. Looks good. You're good. Looks good. Thank you. Thank Boy, that was a combination of your front tires sliding and the for dollies sure. coming off the ground. And yes, for sure. It was awesome. We've got a little light over here in this parking lot. We're at the dealership with this Ram. It's, uh, yeah, uh, you couldn't have got in there with a rollback. And, and if you could have squeezed between those two hills, uh, then you're contending with, like I said, the ball joint was out of this one right here. So we do have it strapped up to some dollies and that worked out, that worked out pretty good. We got it, uh, got it here without having to drag that ball joint and going crazy with it. So we'll get him unloaded and hopefully the uh, dealership can get him fixed up. <laughs> 